Erdogan's challenger, Kamal Kilicdaroglu referred to the election as being the most unjust ever. After a closely contested campaign, Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan declared victory in the presidential election on Sunday, extending his increasingly autocratic reign for a third decade. Erdogan's triumph follows a period of severe inflation and an earthquake that caused entire cities to be destroyed. After the voting was over, Erdogan addressed his supporters in Istanbul while speaking from atop a bus. He thanked them for allowing him to serve as president for another five years. We will continue to be at the forefront of this struggle until real democracy comes to our country, he said in Ankara. He expressed his gratitude to the more than 25 million voters and urged them to remain upright. The outcomes of the election will have an impact outside of Turkey, which is located at the intersection of Europe and Asia and plays a significant role in NATO. A third term would give Erdogan an even greater hand both domestically and globally. In the world arena, Erdogan's administration blocked Sweden's application to join NATO and bought Russian missile defense systems, which prompted the United States to kick Turkey out of a deal to develop fighter jets under its leadership. But it also assisted in negotiating a vital agreement that let grain supplies from Ukraine and prevented a world food catastrophe. Erdogan's 2017 referendum to abolish Turkey's parliamentary system of government, which he barely won, turned the president from a primarily ceremonial position to a strong position. In 2014, he became the first president to be elected in this manner. In 2018, he won the election that brought about the executive presidency. Erdogan, who has been president of Turkey for 20 years, narrowly lost the first round of elections on May 14. He lost the election handily for the first time, yet he still made progress. But Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu, Erdogan's challenger, referred to the election as being the most unjust ever.